ಹಾಯ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ನಾವು ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅ ವಟ್ ಇಬ್ ರೇಟಾ ಸಿ ವಟ್ ಇಬ್ ರೇಟಾ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಟೂ ಸೂಪರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎ ಜ್ಞಾತ ಅನದ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಜ್ಞಾತೋಸ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾಟ ಎ ಜ್ಞಾತ ಜ್ಞಾತ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ಜ ಎ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಪ್ಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಜ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ ವಟ್ ಇಬ್ ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಡೇಟಾಸ್ but all chord data is not a vertebrates here it indicates for proto chord data they having a noto chord noto chord they not able to turns to vertebral column for vertebrates for us the noto chord is developed to the vertebral column that organisms is called as a vertebrates that's why all vertebrates are chord data but all chord data are not a vertebrates now we can go for the first super class that is the agnatha it is the primitive jaw less fishes and it is an aquatic vertebrates without paired appendages without paired appendages means now you have to think uh, this one is the agnatha it is uh, approximately look like a fish they having a paired fins like this this is called as a paired fins but uh, in this organisms there is no paired fins and there is no paired appendages internal bs one or two semi circular canals for us in mammals three semi circular canals is present but in agnatha they having a one or two semi circular canals is present in the internal ear basically semi circular canal can maintaining the balancing of our body now the next one is the in this below the super class they having a class that class is called as a cyclostoma cyclo indicates circular stoma indicates mouth circular mouth here the body is scaleless scaleless means if you observe normally the fish is having a scales like this see here the fish is having scales like this but uh, for this organism there is no like this type of scales that's why that is a scaleless long slender eel like long this is called as slender man and it look like a eel eel like and the endoskeleton is the cartilages it means inside of the bones is inside of the framework is made up of cartilages cartilage is a flexible bones and the mouth is what type of mouth circular and sectorial sectorial means sucking nature peel che gunam kaladi an artham and the tongue bears a, a horny teeth respiratory organs includes 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits are present heart is how many chambers two chambers same as that of fishes and kidney is the mesonephric kidney not well developed best example is the petromyzen very important petromyzen is commonly called as a lamprey myxin is commonly called as a hackfish is very very important so many types they ask this question petromyzen they can shows what type of migration anadromous migration what is meant by anadromous migration migration means moving from one place to the another place here anadromous migration means the organism can be moved from the marine water to the fresh water for laying of eggs after the eggs is hatched and the organism is developed that organism is again return to the fresh water to the marine water now anadromous migration means the moving of organism from marine water to the fresh water that nature is called as a anadromous migration for what purpose for laying of eggs after laying of eggs this organism is died and uh, hackfish basically this hackfish is considered as a scavenger because it can eat and dead and decaying material that's why that is called as a scavenger this hackfish can secrete say a milky fluid when it is contact with the marine water it is turn like a where hmm 
it is a turn like a become like a slime when it is contact with the sea water mainly it is can be useful for the attachment purpose and then now before we can discuss about vertebrates we can go some common characters vertebrae they having different types of vertebrates is there one is the procyolus opisthosiolus amphisiolus procyolus means now this is the vertebrae anterior concave posterior flat manner that is called as a procyolus type of vertebrates opistho means back posterior concave anterior flat that is called as a opisthosiolus amphisiolus both side is concave manner that is called as a amphisiolus if you go for the teeth, T-codon teeth. T-codon teeth means now this is gums. Now that this is the teeth. The teeth present in the socket of jaw. The type of teeth is called as a T-codon teeth. Heterodon teeth. Heterodon teeth means different type of teeth. For us, incisors canines premolars molars different types of teeth is present that type of teeth is called as a heterodont teeth homodont teeth same type of teeth if the organism having incisors means all are incisors canines means all are canines that type of teeth is called as a homodont teeth polyphodont teeth poly means many so many teeth the teeth is fell down and come again that type of teeth is called as a polyphodon teeth diphodon teeth in a lifetime only two times the teeth formation is takes place that is called as a diphodon for us milk teeth after permanent teeth that's why two times the teeth is formed that is called as a diphodon acrodon teeth the teeth present in the surface of the gums not in the surface, no, not in the sockets. Surface of the gums, the type of teeth is called as a acrodon teeth. Skull. See, in back side, near the neck region, for us, like this, condyles is present. If they having a two condyles, the type of skull is called as a dicondylic skull. If they having only one condyle, that is called as a monocondylic skull. For amphibians and for us mammals, they having a two condyles that is called as a dicondylic skull. Remaining all organisms, they having a monocondylic skull. Cranial nerves. If the nerves is arises from the brain, that nerves is called as a cranial nerves. For us, 12 pairs of cranial nerves is present. Caudal fins. Suppose for a fish, see, for a fish, this is the back side, this is called as caudal fins. When the caudal fins is equal, that is called as a homo circle. When the caudal fins are unequal, like this, that is called as a hetero circle. 